On Tuesday, Tigray Health Bureau said 450 people died due to lack of oxygen. The Bureau said this took place after an oxygen plant that used to make 360 to 400 cylinders of oxygen per day stopped production due to the siege on Tigray. Emergency Case Team Coordinator at Tigray Health Bureau, Dr. Ebenezer Zedengel, and Supervisor of the Oxygen Plant, Mulala Muldenugu, said that lack of updated software and spare parts have made it difficult for the oxygen plant to function. In units, we have, we have lost almost 200. And for adults, the total uh, days do directly, which means uh, not the immediate, co the immediate cause of their, uh, their condition, but uh, we estimate more than uh, 250 days in adult. حجیم بزرگات اما نی تکنیکال چگر از دیسک زیت ولش نال. This machine has been providing service for a long time, but currently this disk is out of use due to lack of software. Hence, first we call on the international community to bring us the software so that the lives of thousands of Tigrans would be saved. Priority should be given to oxygen because you can't breathe without it. This oxygen plant was used to produce 360 to 400 cylinders per day. علم از دیسپلیزیا. We can software. We produce oxygen here. Our potential is up to 3,000 cylinders. However, we are not producing now due to the ongoing blockade. All these cylinders are now empty. These cylinders had to be distributed to patients. An oxygen cylinder saved the lives of many. So you can conclude that how many patients are dying to lack of oxygen in Tigray. Dr. Abenezer also explains how Tigray health system has been devastated due to the war on Tigray and the ongoing siege that has blocked the entry of any medical supplies into the region. Due to the conflict and the siege, it has totally collapsed now. Uh, we have seen that there was an extensive damage and looted, looting to the uh, health facilities in Tigray and uh, to the health infrastructure overall, not only the health facilities, but the, the whole system has collapsed because it's not the existence of the health centers or the health uh, facilities alone that the, we can say the health system, but the system as a whole is collapsed. And this is all due to the, as I said, due to the siege. Oxygen is, by the way, uh, one of the essential drugs that the WHO, WHO has an essential drug list. That is a list of drugs that should be available to everyone in this, in uh, universally. So. It is one of the essential drugs. Branch manager at the oxygen plant, Sarafi Saha, also says merchants of the company have ceased producing oxygen for over a year now due to the siege. She also says the blockade on medical supplies has made it impossible for the oxygen plant to start production. You can't simply get spare parts even from Addis. We used to import them either from China or any other country abroad. However, now we are unable to communicate with our suppliers for maintenance purpose. We're in desperate situation. Sometimes software may fail to work, but you can't go to Addis Ababa or elsewhere outside. For this reason, now our machineries are out of use for a long time. The manager adds that this oxygen plant was the only plant in Tigray which has been delivering oxygen cylinders to health facilities all over Tigray before the siege was imposed on Tigray. We used to distribute oxygen cylinders to different health facilities in Tigray before the start of the siege. We were able to supply oxygen products up to Hamara, Shira and Alamata and some parts of Amhara and Afar regions as well. Now we have no stock of oxygen. It's been over 10 months now since we've stopped producing due to lack of spare parts and software related issues. We had requested some organizations through Bureau of Health to support us. And we have also told different organizations, including the World Health Organization, that our problem was software failure and lack of spare parts. But a response is not given yet. I'm afraid the situation would intensify unless all concerned bodies do something immediately. It is to be recorded that Tigray Health Bureau revealed on 21st of August that health system in Tigray has lost 171 billion worth of properties due to the war, which troubled the health system to revive.